Hello and welcome to this special edition of Digital Marketing Today. I'm your host, Dean Lindsay. We are shooting from Rocks Digital with the CEO of Rocks Digital, Lisa Duty. How are you? I'm doing great. How are you doing today, Dean? I am great. Congratulations on a wonderful, wonderful conference. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. It's been exciting. It has. It has been very cool. Now. Um, you and I were talking a little bit before uh, about, you know, somebody has content. I have content, wrote, written some books, you've written some, some books. Um, what are some, you know, the term is repurposing, right? The different ways to use that content. What, what, are you, what are you seeing? What do you advise around repurposing? Well, it's really interesting that you asked me this question. It's people create this excellent content and, and they do it and they just think, oh, this is great. Here it is. And it just kind of sits there, but they can actually take that and, you know, like an ebook, for example, take it and slice it and dice it and they can make it into little tweets. They can make it into images. One of the things that I really do is, for example, I'm going to talk about a mobile ebook that I worked on recently. I took that mobile ebook. We had a great piece of content at the back. We had 10 tips for how to optimize your mobile presence. We took those 10 tips, we turned every one of them into a graphic and a tweet and an update. Now, what was the benefit? Why would we do that besides just getting our great content out there? We wanted to drive downloads, right? Mm -hmm. And so we post this image, we post this tweet, and we say, hey, you can read more at so-and-so. Give them a link to the page to download the entire guide. And now, all the money and the investment we put in the design and the hiring a writer to write this content piece, we're now taking it and we're taking that, we're getting our money even further and we're getting residual downloads. We did a guide over a year ago, Dean. I'm still getting downloads today from the updates and the tweets and the glimpses that I put out over a year ago. I check it every month actually to see how my downloads continue to make sure it's not getting stale for the reader and I'm still getting downloads. And so that thrills me because I know that we put our initial money and we got our, our money's worth when everybody downloaded it right away and we're still getting our money's worth and we're paying nothing for it now. now. Do you think the reason that maybe some people don't repurpose is because they just kind of run out of steam or they run out of creativity? What, what happens to where we don't take advantage of some of this uh, you know, great repurposing and using it in different platforms? I don't think they realize how powerful it is or they think after they've promoted for a month or whatever, this is old, this is no longer valid. And that is not the case anymore. It continues to be valid for so long. You know, I, specifically the piece I'm talking about, it was something about micro moments, you know. We produced this when people really weren't talking about it. I noticed after like, we had been tweeting it for about six months and I had like 30, 40 you know, downloads every month or whatever. All of a sudden I had like, 60 downloads in a month and I'm like wow well I figured out everybody we had we were ahead of the time uh -huh. and so you have content that you can really leverage another thing that I love to do with that and I'm going to throw this in on y'all really quickly is I teach people when they're wanting to really leverage their social media is to write a hundred evergreen updates and this is content that you can repurpose year after year as long as it stays valid and it's still genuine, right? And so you can continue with this evergreen content that you've written to brand yourself as an authority in something mm -hmm. such as social media or an author. For you, I think about your progress <laughs> and how you talk about be progress. Well, you know everything about how to be progress. So you take that and you talk about it and you share about it, just little glimpses, and then you drive people to want to know who you are, to know more about you, to hire you or your business or your company, or in your case, get you to come in and speak. Yes, the, 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 I would say I'm continuing to learn more and more about progress, but I definitely like to, to focus on that. But you, you mentioned one word that I actually use a whole lot, and that is evergreen. Right. And some of our uh, viewers might not know exactly what, what that means. I totally, that's everything I do, I try to make evergreen. But what would, how would you define evergreen? So I think of evergreen as something that transcends right now. So for example, maybe there's a social media catastrophe, you know, or a, just recently, I'm trying to remember, it was either a Coke or Pepsi came out with that with that video they thought were supporting the cause and it backfired on them, right? Pepsi. So when you write content, okay, and you write about that, that's great because you're writing something trending, right? That would not be evergreen right. because it's very limited. You could talk about it for a month or so and then you're gonna look out of date, right. right? So evergreen is something that's a tip that goes on for time, time after time after time, such as a LinkedIn tip, which is, hey, engage with all of your audience in the newsfeed, comment and reply to people, that is evergreen and that transcends time. 
You can write about that and year after year after year, that piece of advice is still going to be valid because you need to engage with people and your readers. Well, I think we just created an evergreen episode. Hey, I like that, <laughs> Hey, thanks for coming on, Lisa. Thank you so much for having me. And congratulations on another uh, fantastic Rocks Digital. Thank you, and I appreciate it. I couldn't do it without everybody, all of you even here today to support me. Well, we do appreciate uh, the opportunity. All right, hey, this is Dean Lindsay. Thanks for watching this episode of Digital Marketing Today, shooting from Rocks Digital. Until next time, thanks for watching.